Good. Right. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, on the first problem, I'm just going to kind of go through this for those of you that were able to get it completed and check your answer. This is the first one on the quiz that we went and checked over. Not that quiz, the other quiz that I handed to you. There we go. So, what we have is y equals x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay? Now, what we're going to be dealing with is the first question asks you to find the axis of symmetry, and the second question asks you to find the vertex. So, we spent a whole homework assignment. You guys can see number two. And all I need you guys to do for this one is, Terrell, just to go and take this. Remember, the axis of symmetry. Yes, goes in the form of x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. So all you guys need to do is determine what is a, b, and c. So usually our first step is we label a quadratic equation. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So therefore, in this problem, you could say a equals 1, because that's the coefficient of x squared, b equals 4, because that's the coefficient of x, and c equals negative 1. OK, do you, do you follow? This is the quadratic equation. This is all quadratics. All quadratics that make a parabola come in that equation. Therefore, you have an x squared, an x, and a constant. The number in front, which we call the coefficient, is going to be your a, b, and c. So given your equation in the blue, I want you to tell me what is the number in front of your quadratic and linear term, and then what's your constant, which is a, b, and c. Then to determine the axis of symmetry, you just have the formula x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. So for your first answer, all you guys had to do is plug in the opposite of b, which is negative 4, divided by 2 times 1. So negative 4 divided by 2 is going to equal negative 2. Then, to find the vertex, remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, you plug in this value in for x. So you say negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 1. Okay? Negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 2 squared, is equal to positive 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 minus 1. Therefore, y equals a negative 5. So when I say what is the vertex, the vertex, remember, is a coordinate point. It's either the max or the minimum of your parabola. So your vertex has an x coordinate of negative 2 and a y coordinate of negative 5. So you say the vertex is the coordinate point negative 2, negative 5. Because remember, the axis of symmetry goes th is the x coordinate of your vertex. So that's all. I needed you guys to do